Well, hey gang, this is Alex. I have here a an on guard disc detainer lock. It doesn't have a whole lot of discs, um, but it is a disc detainer lock. Um, I don't know where it's made, but you can, I'll let you guess. Um, rhymes with Mina. Um, but uh, anyway, it is, well, I'll show you how I, op how I opened it. I do, I do not have a key, so we'll clear the discs and get everybody started. And actually, I'm going to start with the discs all clear except for one. This is just a key that I basically cut everything but the last bit off of. This is a piece of, I think, 025 or 020 music wire. And what we will do is take disc one and turn it around. Actually, take it back, we will zero the discs. That'll make my life a lot easier. Okay, take disc one. And we insert the music wire right about there. Okay. And we take disc two. And we give them a little turn. And at some point the wire goes forwards. And we repeat for disc three. That was disc three. Oops. And disc four. There it is. Oops. A little too far out there. And all the way back till we get to disc last. I'm just going to check that I got the last one. So it feels a little sketchy. Yep, I got it for sure. Now, we take the pick out and we tension the first disc somewhat healthfully. This turns out to be slightly spring-loaded, which is interesting. And then... We withdraw our pick. And the lock opens. And that's as simple as it is. I'm not exactly sure what this lock is for, some kind of hitch or something like that. Guardian, it has a large um, wildebeest or hog or boar or something on it. This does look somewhat used. It has a unique design, registered trademark, doesn't have a maker's mark on it. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see with the complete lack of magnification on this camera lens, but disc one you can actually see the gate for the sidebar and so the trick I used was well I figured you know well if I can see the gate then maybe I can get to the other gates so I basically used this wire to align the gates and then when I pulled it out the sidebar was able to fall in and the lock opened and interestingly this one is also spring-loaded so when you put the little bolt back in it relocks itself and I don't think we'll open again without the key um, or without repicking it. I take it back, maybe it will. Nope. Anyway, so there you go. Um, so if you're on the market for a lock of this type, um, don't buy this one. All right, this is Alex. Uh, thanks for watching, have fun, and please keep it legal. Cheers.